See, last weekend took some pressure off manager Gerard Houllier, but the midweek defeat to Sutherland put it all back on again. The Frenchman took his team to Bramall Lane today to face Sheffield United, third bottom of the Premier League versus fourth bottom in the Championship. Who'd be a football manager? Aston Villa have had three this season. Sheffield United now four. Mickey Adams, Sheffield born and bred, took charge here just over a week ago. He's without 11 senior players today. Gerard Houllier under more pressure than most in his perilous profession includes one of his critics, Robert Pires, and former Sheffield United fullback Carl Walker on loan from Spurs. Oh, Brighton. Walker. Does love to get forward. Sheffield United know only too well. Carl Walker! believe it nine minutes into his return to Bramall Lane no celebration because Carl Walker a boyhood Sheffield United fan who owes his career in the game to this club just happens to make his Aston Villa debut against them and just happens to score in no time at all and then making time and space for himself Bon this is Young. There's three options in the box. Ashley Young. Cut back. Up right. And comprehensively taken by Mark Albright. And Aston Villa have some breathing space. Ashley Young picked out one of the three men in support. And that man, Mark Albright, did not disappoint. Myrtle racing forward Williamson flicks it on and here's Jamie Ward with support trying to fit it back to Montgomery who is outnumbered Ward with another opportunity to cross he's found Williamson somehow and Williamson's found some space and found a penalty and will that revive Sheffield United Smart change of direction by Lee Williamson. Oh, and does Coyer get some of the ball? Referee well placed. Jamie Ward to get Sheffield United back into the cup tie. Game on. Drove it straight and down the middle. Brad Friedel made a decision to dive. Charles Bogdanovic got three for Kapney needed a good save from Friedel a vicious effort from uh, Daniel Bogdanovic a very relieved Carl Walker Young saw Butley coming he picked a Sheffield United oh and Ashley Young is going to be shown a second yellow card for that and Aston Villa are going to have to play the last 15 minutes or so with 10 men. Petrov couldn't clear. Walker can't do more than that. He's going to find a way out here, Carl Walker. And he's got support right and left. Gabiak Bon Lahore. He's got the extra man at the moment. Our Brighton. Villa happy to keep it in the circumstances. Petrov. Our Brighton, Stylian Petrov, that'll do it. Aston Villa's captain puts the tie to bed. Well worked between Our Brighton and Petrov. Premier League class told in the end. When I knew that uh, Aston Villa was interested in me, I, always, I knew the next fixture was Sheffield United because I'm a Blades fan myself. So I was, I was dreading it, but I was excited as well to come back to Bramall Lane and see the fans and everything. You really didn't know what to do when you scored, did you? No, I said to my mum, if I do score, I'm not going to celebrate, definitely not. The boy's a, a great talent. Um, you know, we got a decent money for him when he left here. Um, and that first goal really set us back. Uh, but what a good goal. I really want to, to praise my players for what they've done today. Because sometimes you had you know, to withstand the pressure and sometimes they played and
build up some good football. You've got to be aware that it's a cup game away from home at Sheffield. You knew that it was not going to be easy, and you knew that sometimes you had to dig in, which was the case at times. And these days make management worthwhile, yeah? <laughs> Hope so. <laughs>